Hi, this is Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com, and this week, for <laughs> no obvious reasons except for it's Halloween, I guess, I made a paper mache shrunken head. I, doing the research, I learned a lot more about uh, shrunken heads than I ever <laughs> thought I needed to know. Um, I started out with a ball of aluminum foil, covered that with some Super Sculpey, and modeled a little four-inch head. Tried to make him uh, look as unhappy as I could. Then I covered the Super Sculpey with a very thin layer of petroleum jelly because I didn't want the paper mache to stick, of course. The paper that I'm using for this project is Blue Shop Towels. Uh, you can get this almost anywhere. Uh, they mold uh, really easily and they're very strong. So I used only four layers of paper mache using these, uh, uh, these shop towels and I really like the way it worked. I made up some paste made out of uh, Gorilla Wood Glue, some powdered marble, which is also called calcium carbonate or chalk, and a little bit of water. Then I used a brush to um, very thickly apply some of the paste to the back of my first piece of toweling and place that over the piece. As you can see, uh, there's only one piece of paper towel on there yet. And there was only one spot where it actually didn't want to mold to the face. So in order to get that, um, that spot right under his nose from wrinkling too much, I just tore it up to the tip of his nose, put a little bit more paste onto the back of that extra piece of paper, and then smoothed it down over the upper lip. I used a few tools to make sure that the paper uh, got down into the details really well and then I added enough paper so that it completely covered uh, the sides and bottom of the face. Then I added some more paste to the top of that first layer, uh, put my second layer, there's only two layers on the um, outside of the face. I completely covered the last layer of paper with more paste so that it would soak in really well to the paper and then put the piece in front of a fan to dry overnight. As soon as it was hard enough so that I could take out uh, the aluminum foil and the, um, the Super Sculpey, I went ahead and did that. That happened in the morning. It was still a little bit damp on the inside though, so I put it back in front of the fan to dry for a few more hours. And then I took some scissors and cut away the extra paper along the edges. Then I added two more layers of paper mache on the inside to make sure that it was strong enough. As soon as the inside layers were applied, I put them back in front of the fan, let that dry really well, and then took a very sharp pointed tool and made the holes for the, uh, where the twine is going to be sewing his eyelids and his lips together. Just kind of the gruesome part, but <coughs> you know, has to be done. Um, then I blew up a tiny little uh, balloon, just big enough so that it would fit inside there, and I put four more layers of paper mache just around the bottom. Uh, these, um, the, the real uh, the shrunken heads were actually made into bags that held um, uh, rocks and sand for some reason. So there's no neck, of course. Um, and I, I left that large opening because I needed to be able to get in there and fiddle with the strings that were going to be sewing his eyelids and his lips together. So that went back in front of the fan. As soon as the uh, paper mache was strong enough, of course, I pulled out that, um, that balloon. And then I added some brown to some of the paste and used that as a gesso to cover up all the blue let that dry really well, and then I used some acrylic liquid, um, uh, glazing liquid, with some burnt umber and some black in order to make a really dark glaze so that I would pick out all of the details on his face. That needed to dry for a few more hours. Um, it's this long, slow process. Then I put some wax on the end of my pieces of twine and pushed those through the little holes tied knots in the back so that they wouldn't fall out. And then in order to cover up that big gaping hole in the back of his head, I scrumpled up some uh, newspaper, uh, pressed that in there, and taped a piece of twine to the top so that I'd have something to hang the head from. And that, of course, uh, was covered with more paper mache. 
That had to go back in front of the fan, naturally. Uh, there's four layers of paper mache there, so it took uh, quite a bit longer. This was a, about a three-day project altogether. When that was dry, I put some more brown paint over it so that uh, there wouldn't be any blue showing under his, um, under his hair. And I used a hot glue gun to attach some uh, black wool that I had hanging around from a felting project that didn't go very well. Um, and now that he has his wig on, um, he's all done. The poor victim is completely finished. So uh, there you go. If you happen to find a really strong need for a shrunken head in your house, that's the way to make him. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come over and visit us for some more tutorials at ultimatepapermache.com. See you later. Bye-bye.